What you'll need for a TB test is two alcohol wipes, a 30 gauge one half needle, a 1cc syringe, gloves, and a TB vial. A TB test, the first thing you need to do is to put on your gloves. The next thing you'll have to do is wipe your vial with an alcohol wipe. The next thing you do is grab your 1cc syringe, draw it up to 0.1. Take it out, make sure the cap is on tightly, then you open it and inject it into the vial. Push the air in and then draw it up to 0.1. Alright, then you'll get your pen and you'll start hitting it to get the bubbles out. And once that's out, you change your needle. This goes into a sharps container. Done. <laughs> you get your 30 gauge needle. And you put that on. Make sure it's on tightly. There you go. Hi, my name is Susan. I'll be your MA today. Hi, my name is Jenny. So the doctor has ordered a TB skin test, and you can either do either of these two arms. This one. This one. All right, so what you do, you put one hand over the wrist and one hand over the elbow. And the open area is the area where you can give the injection, but you need to avoid any areas with veins and hairs. A TB test is an ID or an intradermal injection which are given in a 10 to 15 degree angle. When you're giving an intradermal injection, you need to make sure that you're pulling the skin taut like this. I prefer to pull it this way, but you can do it in other ways too. That's the MA's preference, but what you need to avoid doing is holding it taut like this because that'll interfere with the angle of injection. And now we begin the intradermal injection. So first off, we put on our gloves. Then you ask your patient which arm they prefer, this one or this one. Then you find your landmark. So right there. Then you get your alcohol wipe, and you clean the area clean in a circular motion to avoid cross-contamination. Then you get your needle. You make sure the bevel is up. You taunt the skin. and inject, lift, and press. Then you cap your needle, and then face it down in the sharp container. So when you do the injection, you need to make sure that you get a wheel just like this. It means you did the procedure correctly. All right, Jenny, so we'll be seeing you in 48 to 72 hours, but if you come any later than that, then we'll have to redo the entire process. But if you do see any kind of redness, irritation, if it looks like a mosquito bite, then I need you to come back immediately and you can talk to your physician. Thank you, Susan. All right, I'll escort you out now. Cool. So now you've learned how to do a TB skin test with Susan and Jenny. We hope this video has helped you for your near future and your future careers in MA. And we can't wait to see class of 2014 and 2015 next year.